Hello, everyone. I want to be perfectly honest with all of you. Lately, this shit in the news has become so hectic that I'm starting to feel as if I'm being pulled in two different directions. My innate response is that this is just absolutely bullshit and that, just like everything else, this too shall pass. However, my more critical and engaged response is that the things we see in the news are not going anywhere anytime soon. So what do I mean? Well, I'm talking about the news media, as well as many major celebrities and politicians. Mostly, they're blatant lying, double standards, and absolutely obvious partisanship. I would go on a rant if I didn't keep it more or less focused into a video, so I'm going to focus this into New York City for now. Or rather, the shell of what was New York City. And their mayor... Bill de Blasio's pointless virtue signaling. CNN reports, New York City paints Black Lives Matter mural outside Trump Tower in Manhattan. New York City is painting a Black Lives Matter mural on the street directly outside of Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan. City employees began painting a stretch of Fifth Avenue just in front of Trump Organization's headquarters on Thursday morning. Mayor Bill de Blasio authorized the stark yellow mural earlier this month. The New York mayor rolled up his sleeves and painted a bit of the mural, too, clad in a mask and flanked by civil rights leader, the Reverend Al Sharpton. Now, this may seem a bit elitist of me to say, but the mayor, likely while still taking taxpayer money, is using his office to push an anti-presidential political message endorsed by the city itself. And he does this by literally taking part in an art project to show the people that he, too, hates Trump. As if we didn't know already. President Trump said we would be denigrating the luxury of Fifth Avenue. Let me tell you, we're not denigrating anything. We are liberating Fifth Avenue. We are uplifting Fifth Avenue, de Blasio said on Thursday in response to Trump's tweet last week criticizing de Blasio for denigrating the area. He added, Who built this city? Who built this nation? And never got the acknowledgement, the recognition. Okay, de Blasio, let's investigate that thought. Who built this city? Who built NYC? Immigrants did, as it turns out. And in fact, New York was literally built by immigrants. Some of the city's most iconic residential and commercial buildings were designed by immigrant architects who drew influences from their home countries to turn NYC into an architectural as well as cultural melting pot. So we've got the Scottish, the English, the Austrians, and Germans. Buildings on the Lower East Side were designed by Germans and built by Germans and Jews. de Blasio must really hate that part, noting his overt anti-Semitism. And I'm pretty sure, though this article doesn't mention it, I'm pretty sure the Irish were instrumental in the construction of most of the skyscrapers in a time when they were considered a lower class in the United States. Fun story, apparently Mohawk tribe members were also involved. So while I agree with what you're implying here, that black labor has been a backbone of the United States since when colonists set up shop in the New World, what you actually mean is most of the South was built with black labor. Because de Blasio, I don't know if you fully realize this, but New York City isn't exactly what you would call the slave capital of the antebellum United States. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Topical use of words. But go on, de Blasio. Continue your grandstanding against the president whose administration you are currently begging for money from. When we say Black Lives Matter, there is no more American statement. There is no more patriotic statement. Because there is no America without Black America. We are acknowledging the truth in ourselves and in America. By saying Black Lives Matter, we are righting a wrong, de Blasio said. Okay, then we have this tweet here. Our city isn't just painting the words on Fifth Avenue. We're committed to the meaning of the message, Black Lives Matter. Do you even know what Black Lives Matter means, Bill de Blasio? Because based on current events, I don't think a majority of people know what it means anymore. After all, this is a CNN news article I'm citing here. Don Lemon, however, doesn't actually believe Black Lives Matter. He might believe in the hashtag, but not in the message after all. The Black Lives Matter movement is about police brutality and injustice in that manner, not about what's happening in black neighborhoods, Lemon said on Monday before telling actor Terry Crews he can start his own movement if he's so concerned with black-on-black -black gun violence. We aren't going to touch that clip from that article I just mentioned. Not the Terry Crews one, but the seven-year-old racist message by Don Lemon. 
but that article is linked down below for those who are interested. So let's really ask that question. What is Black Lives Matter? Is it police violence? Just police violence? Or the belief that all lives, especially black ones in the United States, deserve the same treatment as everybody else? Look, if it's the latter half, I'm down. I'm all for it. Even if it's just the first half. I mean, their messaging could be clearer in that circumstance, but I'm on board. Police brutality against black Americans is bad and should be stopped. But what is it as it is today? See, this is the issue with the majority of left-wing politicians, celebrities, media, and zealots. You see, whenever it is a focused, clear message, these individuals, or collectives, find a way to confuse the message. People take advantage. People go overboard in their pursuit. People who occupied the Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was killed shot and killed an eight-year-old girl. A black child. Enough is enough. Mayor Bottoms said, you can't blame this on a police officer. You can't say this is about criminal justice reform. This is about some people carrying some weapons who shot up a car with an eight-year-old baby in the car. For what? Bottoms ordered people, namely those walking around with guns who have been spotted in the vicinity of the Wendy's, to leave immediately. Shortly after Sunday's news conference, one person was killed, and at least two others were injured in another shooting near the restaurant, W. XIA reported. We're not having any more discussions. It's over, she said. If you are looking to be a part of the solution and not a problem, then you're going to have to clear out of that area. I want to leave you with this quote as we finish up this video. She died in my arms, Sicoria's mother, Charmaine Turner, tearfully told reporters Sunday before she broke down crying and was let out of the news conference by family members. So is this what you meant by Black Lives Matter? Is this what you wanted? Is this worth it? You people have gotten so wrapped up in your self-identity that more black people have died as a result of these people's actions than that of police brutality last year, and protests only started in early June. Is this the utopia you wanted? Is this the revolution you wanted? Was this eight-year-old girl part of the patriarchy or the white supremacist right or the oppressors that all the left wants to dismantle and talk so fucking tough about? Well, look how tough you are now. You shot a child. You're wastes of human life, and I'm sick of it. That's it for today. Hope you have a good night.